Hey ho, welcome to Dragon Free Fireball here with another random video. Um, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get the live stream working. Um, I'm really annoyed about that. Um, there was some problem with the uh, broadcasting and I'm gonna look into it and hopefully soon I'll be able to do a successful live stream. But anyway, um, because I felt bad about that, I'm going to be doing an extra long video about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. Um, I'm going to tour um, my old Terraria world, which this is the season 1 world. Now, um, in my spare time, when I'm not building on Minecraft, playing zombies, um, or doing anything, I'm playing Terraria usually with my friends, and yeah, so in this tour you will see that a lot has changed since um, you you guys last saw this world. So um, we're going to start from this end of the world and work all the way along, covering everything in the world that is important. So um, I'll come back to the house, but we are in 1.2.4, the fish update. I have fought Duke Fish one many times. So this um, here is my is a little track that I have set up that takes me um, to my dungeon and from there I get a teleporter that takes me to the beach. Um, this just goes straight underground through the crimson. I, lo I, really, lo I really love these minecarts. Um, so, um, yeah, I, um, you guys will probably be really surprised by how much has changed on this world. And not just this world, but my character. <coughs> my character has also changed quite a lot. I think they have got full spectre armor. I'm wearing the Eye Cthulhu mask, got red dye and all of that. Spooky ring, some other magic accessory. I'm a mage. Um, I got Ray the Pine and Pixar, Spectre, Axe, and Thunder Heart. You know, some, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, Tempest, you can take up, care of those things. Anyway, oh no, I don't need to take the. I don't need to take this route, I just remembered I got a teleporter. So, um, here I've got a little, um, little fishing hut set up. Um, my party girl's living here, because I mean, this is, um, what used to be our, um, chemo farm. It, no, I no longer use it. I never really used it much anywhere. But this is where I come if I have any ocean fishing class. But anyway, um, if we just head back to the dungeon, and we head down here now, what you're seeing here is, um, I don't think I ever uploaded this video, no, I, I tried to do a tutorial on how to build an elevator, and I had this drop down jump, and then this bit on the left here was supposed to be like an elevator, <coughs> and I never could get it working, <coughs> so I don't think I uploaded that video, um, but if we just come over here, and um, through my dungeon, which has been, like, completely changed, Hang on. Got a lot of things here. Oh no, now I've got slowness. I've got a dungeon AFK farm that I built myself. Um, oops. This is like the main bit. And this is some loot that I've collected. I've collected much more loot than this, but I've just not... I've, I've binned most of it. We've got an invincibility machine here, and how this works is you have a slime statue hooked up to a one second timer and you got some honey in there and basically um, using a mob ranking system where the first enemy to damage you automatically becomes like the number one priority and no other enemies will damage you until that enemy stops damaging you or is dead so we can use this mechanic to make an invisibility machine so that when I'm in here nothing else can damage me I've also got heart um, lamps and campfires to help with um, with keeping alive. I've got a clock here. Anyway, let's see the traps in action. So this switch turns on the spiky ball traps, the super dark traps, and the fire traps. This one here turns on the spear traps. And this this found really effective. I don't have any calculations for how much platinum it gets an hour or anything like that, but quite a lot. So I'll turn the traps off, um, hopefully. See, I, I don't really know how to turn them off. I, I made each of the switches separate, but they all work really weirdly. Nope. Um... Oh 
Oh my god, I hate this farm. I'll be building a better one soon. Oh my god, this is really frustrating. Right, okay. Oh my god, why? Why is this farm so nice? Okay, I've had enough of this. I'm turning them on by the timers. It'll be much quicker. There we go. Why is this thing still on? Finally. So, um, this is supposed to be off now. There we go. I'll put on my lava wave just so I can show you how some of this stuff is working. So, the the uh, spiky ball traps, super dart traps and flame traps are pretty self-explanatory. However, the spear traps are the most complicated part of this build. So, we have a bird statue here, which is activated on a one second timer. And every time it is activated, it spawns a bird. When that bird hits this pressure plate, it activates the first row of spike um, spear traps. Then when it hits this pressure plate, it hits the second row, and then the third pressure plate, the final row, and then dies. The reason it's important that it died is so this thing doesn't stop spawning in um, mobs. So that is basically everything for this farm. It's really effective um, when when it's um, actually working. It is working. It's, I, I need to sort of fix it up and make sure that I can get all the switches separate because for some reason they're activating each other and it's. Um, Really annoying. No idea why. I mean, I've I've got wiring and all that in there, and I've I mean, like I've got my wire saying, "Oh, what they call wrenches." I've got went wrenches tried to fix it, but nothing's ever worked. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna head across my crimson desert, and I'm gonna show you my Kasulu base because. Um, my character is obviously based on the um, Eye of Cthulhu, and I call myself the Cthulhu Lord because my face is a giant eyeball. So, I made myself a nice base. I will show you guys this. So it's got some actuated doors, I've been making a trophy collection here. Anyway, this is the throne room, I've got some eye statues, uh, gloom statues, I've got a Pumpkin Moon and Morningwood Trophy. I've got some Icthulhu banners and Meteorite banners. And yes, I'm pretty sure that is everything important here. That is not important at all. Um, yeah, so what we need to do now is just head back to the house and I'll just head out this way and I'll show you this big thing here. This is my liquid farm. I can have an infinite source of honey, water and lava, and the reason there's honey twice is because I can mix these liquids, liquids together. Here I can get um, normal honey um, blocks, here I can get obsidian, and here I can get crispy honey blocks. I've also got some buckets in here, and this is um, one of the most recent things I've done on this world. I've made a plant, a plant farm, um, I've got stuff out from the forest biome, will grow here, Corruption, the hell for fire blossoms. This bit here is for the um, new new one. What's it called? Oh, Shiver Saw. Um, this is jungle stuff. This is the desert. So for cactus and that. Um, so that basically that. Now I have some switches down here. I forgot to show you this. So I basically use that dart to take off all plants and that, and then I activate it, and it will all fall down here. Now I don't really care about it because there's not much for me to collect there. So here I have uh, my mush mushroom house. Now I can't remember if this was here last time last time you guys saw this world, but this is where my mushroom is. Mo truffle. Why do I keep thinking mushroom? Shimmy 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 shimmy. Yes, that too. So 
So, um, here I have um, some traps. I've set trap, um, the same sort of trap system on both sides. Um, these darts have not really been um, changed. This, this was here last time, this is the switch that activates it all. And I've got a switch on either side of the house to actuate these, these walls here so I can get through, as you can see. So, the next thing for me to show you, I guess, will be some stuff, I guess. So, since I'm now quite far on in Terraria, I've collected a lot of stuff. I'll let you guys pause the video at each of these chests if you want to. You can see what sort of loot I've been collecting. I've made my chest much more organised now. Everything is very precisely done. So, next, um, this is my dye chest. This is stuff where I keep my wiring and special blocks that I love, like the dungeon blocks. This is where I keep all my ranged weapons, all magic books. This is Jimmy, my angler, my favourite NPC now. Uh, this is where I keep all my melee weapons. Um, this is where I keep all my mage weapons. I, I, don't, I don't use any of them, I just keep them here for storage. This is like a lot of my clothing stuff. Um, as you can see, I've got the peddler's hat, angler's equipment. So here, this is where I stored everything that I collected from 1.2.3, which was the update that added the Travelling Merchant and the Boss Mask. Obviously the Duke Fish one was 1.2.4. Um, like, this is like all the Dynasty Wood. I really love the Dynasty Wood. Um, and then this is all my fishing stuff from 1.2.4. Then up here, this chest here, this basically is... Um, just some hunting I'm doing for a trophy. Um, one of the trophies is called Pet Hod and you have to find and collect all the pets. Uh, I just need four now. Uh, me and David E, KDJ and his friend um, TazzyGod31 we're all working together to collect every pet. We just need four now. We need the Zephyr Fish, the Slayer, the um, what else? The Unlucky Yarn, and one other I can't really remember. But we've even got the bone key guys, as you can see. I don't know if you, any of you guys noticed. I, we killed him using a hike system um, that a, a guy called Yurimir used to do um, a kill of the dungeon garden on his first night. This was, um, here this is um, just an early farm I sell for some stuff. I don't use it anymore now that I've got the automated one and this is, I, I, don't, I don't know what this is guys, I really don't. This is, um, this long platform on here is something I set up for getting the, um, Gone in 60 Seconds trophy. I, since then I've got that. That's just a Sky Island, nothing important there. This was my Twins arena. Now, not, not really you, Dada. So the next big thing to show you, um, I suppose will be my teleporting hub. You will see me here for a split second. Now, this is still work in progress. This is the main one to my house. This is to where we're going to be going next, and this is the dungeon. I mean, the, the track that goes to the dungeon. These two do not go anywhere. So, what we're going to do is go through here. Now, this is my armory. Another trophy that I've also been working to, towards is the uh, knight in shining armors for collecting every type of armor. So, we, I've got every single pre hard mode armor here, all the way up to think it will be this is this is where it ends with the molten armor then we got palladium cobalt all the way up here with, with, then we have spectra and shumite and turtle up here we have the console exclusive spectra armor um the beetle armor the chlorophyte armor and then this is the titan armor still work in progress and this will be the dragon armor so not done yet but I, I really do like the way I designed this. I've also got a demon. Oh, I should I should have remembered that because um the other day I was trying to find it, um try and find a demon altar and I couldn't find one because I was just that stupid. So um suppose the next thing now is to head this way. Um, what do we have left? Nothing else really other than some things in the jungle and then that will be it so we'll head over to the jungle and then I'm gonna end this video um, 
I have no idea how long it is, I don't really care, I just want to get it uploaded because I'm really annoyed that I couldn't get my live stream working. So sad. You said so sad. <laughs> um, I, mean, I, I mean, I set up a Twitch account and and uh, made my profile all nice and, and now it doesn't even work. So sad. Um, as you can see, my game's just all saving now. Anyway, so I'll show you everything on the surface. This is um, where my witch docks are living, just in a random hut. I originally built that house just so I had a spawn point, just in case I died while fighting Pantera. Now this is another kind of recent thing, not really recent, now that I think about it. Um, so this is... What is this? This is my dojo. Now, at the request of DVD UK DJ, I built him a dojo because at the time he was... I don't know, he wanted to be a ninja in Terraria. So I built him this dojo. I got him some Gizby Road, some katanas. Um, some people have moved in since. And I set up a little arena. Now, I can activate certain things. So the first thing I can activate here is skeleton statues. Um, the... God's sake. Go away, guys. <laughs> Here, and the next thing I can activate are sh the shuriken, spiky ball traps, and the final thing I can activate are super dart traps. And basically, the objective of this sort of mini game is to survive for as long as you can. And Clothier was just saying, oh, mate, Clothier's always been slain. So, I think, is that everything here? Um, I've got nothing else important, I've just got a random platform in the ocean, so that you guys won't want to see that. So I'm, I'm saving the, the one of the biggest things to last. For this, we're going to have to go down into my jungle. There's two things. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is my truffle farm, which isn't as impressive as it sounds. It's not automated or wired or anything. It is basically just a large area of mushroom biome I artificially created with the contaminator, and um, and with that, I was able to sort of farm a few truffle worms. So yeah, um, so I'm going to cut ahead in the video. It takes a while to get. There, and I will be back when I am there. Alright guys, so I am here now. Um, it's not much, I've set up a lot of platforms, and this is you, I'll either stand here, or here, or uh, some, somewhere. I, I don't really have a specific location where I'll stand, but um, yeah, it, 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 with, um, um, with this setup, um, it's not that hard to get one, I just have to be patient. And I'm good at being patient. <laughs> sometimes. So, um, the final thing for us to look at is the Lizard Temple. Now I've been, it's not finished. When, and when I say that, I mean, I don't mean I've been building a one. I just mean I've been making another farm in here and it is not finished. So, as you can see, this bit's pretty untouched. There's some lizards here, but we're about to get into the main bit now. So, it might be easy for me to show you on the mini-map, but basically what I've got set up is a similar setup to the AFK farm in the dungeon, where I have the slime spawner, invincibility machine, got some clocks, um, I've got a chest here, which is empty at the moment. What does that switch do? That'll activate some of these timers, probably. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. Right, so that switch activates these two timers. This first timer activates these um, six pressure plates. Now, these six pressure plates, I assume, link up... Yeah, they link up here to these spike traps that have been activated. Um, been a while since I've worked on the actual wiring bit, because what I've been doing, I've been slowly filling in. Um, the bottom area, if I just show you, 
See, this is all grid, like, it's all, like, a lot of weird rows, and that's just because I didn't have a lot of lizard brick. So I just, um, kind of skipped out a couple layers, and they're still not spawning there, which is good. So I've just got this area to fill in, and then I can finish wiring here, then fill that area in. So yeah, um, so that is everything, um, on this world. The tour is now complete. There is one more thing I do want to show you guys, um, because a lot of you guys, um, were really, really confused in the last Terraria video I published, which was, um, top three rarest items, which I collected, um, quite a while ago now. Um, that world I was on is called AFK Frostmoon. Um, this is basically a world that I made simply for farming the two events, uh, Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon, but it's specifically designed for the Frost Moon, which means that it absolutely annihilates the Pumpkin Moon and doesn't do anything really for the Frost Moon. This is, t you can tell because I've only got three things here from the Frost Moon and everything else in this chest is either from the, the, um, Witch Doctor or from the Pumpkin Moon. Uh, so, um, I, I made myself a nice house here. Um, this world I made just after 1.3. 1.2.3 so basically what we have here is we have a 80 uh, actually see, we have this central box and there's and this um, whole farm s s uh, extends out 80 blocks from the medi from the very middle that'll be about 160 blocks in diameter that's not including the two middle blocks the middle of the section, so I'm not sure exactly how long, long it'll be. And then you've got this pyramid. The mobs spawn on these small platforms here, and uh, and another one here. They walk off, walk up the pyramid, and stand on these teleporters. Get instantly teleported here, can't be teleported back. Now, they'll either die from the, the, the walking to the lava, because they're all stupid mobs. Um, they and we'll die from these spear traps, which, um, which actually had a very, very weird setup. I have a very weird setup for this, actually. Um, instead of using, um, the bird system that I used previously, what I did, I, um, used this pressure plate system, and I basically just activate all these myself, and then it works fine by itself. So, um, uh, another thing, um, Basically, first of all, um, this is all exactly the same on each side. Um, the six one-second timers here only you like work for the um, five by five area, like five by five by six area, and this five by six area. Um, then I've got a an extra one-second timer here which activates all these spiky ball traps there and around here, this, these flame traps, these spear traps up top and same for the other side this teleporter teleports me into the invincibility machine um, in which I have some honey, the timer, heart lantern and a chest here where I have some summoner gear but I'm, I, I don't use it, I don't know why I have it actually So. Yeah, um, I will quickly show you guys the farm in action. Now the pressure plates I find are a bit unreliable, so I usually just go on and manually um, put it on myself. So as you can see, everything is working great. Um, I think I've actually also hooked up the uh, the second timers to here as well, probably. But um, I'll show you how the invincibility machine works, I haven't shown you that yet. Basically, you get the slime spawning in, and they're only doing a quarter damage. Um, for this to work, you must be equipping a cross necklace or a star veil. I recommend the cross necklace, because the star veil has a problem with it, where it... Well, it's not a problem, it, it's useful, but it, it's a problem for this sort of design. The stars that shoot down kill the slime, and that can be a problem because if all the slimes are dead at once, then um, and and one of the bosses like Pumpkin Moon or Morningwood, Morningwood mainly because he's the one who's always inside you. Um, and Morningwood 
can easily kill you, become the number one ranked boss, and he won't be able to stop damaging you until you kill him, because he's inside you. Um, now what I usually do, I usually grapple to the ceiling and fire my Ray the Pine out from the bottom or the top. So, yeah. So that is basically it, guys. This is um, a tour of my main world and then this extra world. Um, let me just do that. I have to sort of risk my life to turn this thing off. Oh my god. Just that one. And that one. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.